Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Leo for December of 2019. I apologize for the delay. I like that card though. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome. My name is Dee. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, and I'm a, um, I can't even talk, spiritual empowerment coach and healer. And I help women heal from toxic relationships. And as I say that, the devil comes out. Um, so spirit's already with us. And um, I, I help women heal from toxic relationships through spiritual guidance and divine um, practices such as energy healing. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. This is awesome. Okay. So, um, yeah, in this, <laughs> in this video, you are going to get, I'm like, I'm speechless. Uh, in this video, you are going to get the message from spirit, as well as the energy healing to go along with this. Um, I'm a fellow Leo myself. That's why I'm speechless because it's like, it's already resonating. All right. So, um, let's see what else is happening. If you haven't already, you can follow me over in Facebook. Lots of good stuff. I'm going to do a Christmas, um, energy healing over there. So if you want to, um, it's actually going to be in zoom, but the link is going to be everything over there. So if you want to get in on any of that, just go ahead and follow me over on Facebook in my turning pain into power for spiritual ladies, uh, group. Okay. All right, let's get to this. Cause wow. All right, so, you know, December is the end of the year and there's a new year coming. And what I love about the overall energy for the month of December for Leos is that it's the three of wands. So it is time to look in the future, not what's in the past, okay? It's all about looking in this crystal ball and determining what you want 2020 to look like, what you want the rest of your life to look like. It's all about just seeing it crystal clear about what you want in your life. And when you can do that and start to really actually even imagine yourself there, that's like what the law of attraction is all about, is just envisioning yourself there where you are already there. You feel it. What are you doing? What, what does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? What does it taste like? Like literally imagine that you already have exactly what you want and that you're just waiting for it to come. It's like a TV show, right? And it's like, you're just waiting to turn the channel on, right? You just got to tune to a different channel to find it. And, but it's already in creation and there's no way in hell that it won't, it won't come to existence. All right. That's what you want to do here. Now, first row in the beginning of the month here, you have the 10 of pentacles. You have the devil card. You have the seven of pentacles and you have the 10 of cups. And the way that I'm reading this here is that you are done with the bullshit. You're done with the toxic people. You are just so over it. You're so beyond it. Okay. It's like you, you, you're taking your power back in every single aspect of your life here because you are creating your future. You realize everything that you've been through in 2019 and prior to this for some of you, because remember, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But what I'm feeling here is that you're reflecting on your past. You're reflecting through all of these years and the growth that you've had, and you realize that you're not the same person anymore, and that now it's time to look towards the future and look towards what you really want out of life, because I feel as though you've been settling in the past. It's like you've just been going along with whatever's been handed to you, and now it's time to create it. It is time to create your future with this 10 of cups here. And it's time to let go of whatever toxicity you're holding on to. It's time to let go of sacrificing yourself for others at the cost of yourself. It's time to just let, let all that go. Like they don't deserve you. It doesn't deserve you depending on whatever that is for you, whatever toxic situation or relationship you're in. Um, and again, that could be family and friends or whatever. It's time to let go of all of it so you can move forward. Because what they're showing me here is you actually stepping outside of it. It's like you're stepping outside of your life into this new path. And again, this could be a spiritual awakening, obviously, since it just said that. But, um, you know, it, it's like this is the time to plant the seed. 
This is the time in December is the time to set your goals for 2020. It's time to really look at everything in the past and what you liked and what you didn't and what you want more of and what you don't want more of and really just focus on creating the life that you want and that 10 of cups, right? You got the 10 of pentacles and you got the 10 of cups, but there's this devil in the middle. So you get to choose if you keep that devil or not, if you keep that toxicity in your life. If you do, turn the video off right now because the rest of this is not going to make sense, okay? And this is where people, well, it doesn't resonate with me. Well, obviously it doesn't resonate with you because you're stuck with the devil, right? It's stuck with the devil. You can't sleep with the devil and then expect to have angels all around you, right? You can't choose that path and then expect to have all of the goodness that comes along with not choosing the path, right? So it's kind of what they're saying here is like, it's a long road, it's a, but it's a good road and it's time to plant the seed now, okay? It's like, they say like, when's the best time to plant a tree? Well, it was 20 years ago, right? But, you know, the next best time is right now because if you wait another 10 years, then you have nothing to show for it. So how long are you going to wait sitting on this toxicity, dealing with this toxicity, giving them the power, okay? Take your power back is what I'm feeling here, especially with these two tens. I feel like they are so freaking powerful um, and looking towards the future. So definitely like, I can't even, we're going to cover the devil. <laughs> we're covering the devil, right? Because you're getting rid of it. Now, if you choose to let go of the toxicity and you take your power back, this is what's going to happen for the rest of the month. Six of pentacles, two of swords, eight of cups, and the nine of pentacles. So this, this is talking about walking your own path, doing your own thing, being who you are. And then you have the two of swords, which this is about you know, feeling protected, even though you don't know what's coming, you know, so a lot of us will stay in a toxic, toxic relationship or situation because we don't know what's on the other side. And at least we know what's here. At least we know that, you know, we're going to get hit today, or at least we know that we're going to be put down today, or at least we know that, um, you know, so something's going to screw up and make me feel bad today. That's, that's easier than going with the unknown. And they're calling like BS on that. Okay, because this is telling me here with the six of pentacles um, and the eight of cups here that it's time to move on. It's time to walk towards something better. And that better is the nine of pentacles. For some of you, that's going to be a breakup and it's better to just be on your own. Um, for some of you, this is going to be just independence. I think there's ice falling off my roof. Um, you know, so just about independence and being more on your own. Um, so however it is, like you don't need to rely on the people that are making you feel like shit. You don't need to rely on the people that aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Um, so take your power back here. And th this is beautiful for me. It's like, be okay with the unknown because the unknown is better than what you have, right? You already know what you got here and it's not that great. So it's better with the unknown and working your way towards or through it, actually working your way through the unknown rather than being scared of it and staying where you are just because you don't, you know, you're scared of what you don't know. Okay. And I always say, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's how you heal. That's how you should live your life. Because if you stay in your comfort zone all the time, you don't go out and you don't try new things and you don't, um, and the opportunities that are there for you, you don't see them because you're too busy staying in your comfort zone. Right now, if you continue on this path, you have the temperance, you have the five of swords, you have the death card, and you have the three of cups. And this makes me feel as though if you continue on this path and finding yourself and, and sticking to your power and knowing that you, I don't want to say are right all the time, but you are in the right to do what you want to do and to feel the way that you want to feel. Okay, and my little owl here, I've just been drawn to the him right now. Live the life you love. Live the life you love. And that's what this, this end of December is all about. It's about finding balance here between the heartache of the past and what you want in the future. All right, it's, it's like what they're making me feel here is like eliminating it, like releasing the energy from it with this temperance card with the five of swords, right? You have been stabbed in the back. 
thing you just have. Like, it's okay to accept that, but it's also okay to move on without get, getting the closure of it. Okay, the person that did that to you is never going to accept that they did something wrong. Okay, so stop trying to prove it to them. Stop trying to make them see things that they're not going to see. You're wasting your energy and your energy is more spent on you, okay, because you have the death card. If you can do that, if you can let go, right? I teach about letting go, not forgiveness, but letting go. That is when everything's going to change for you. That's when you're going to transform yourself. That's when you're going to see things differently. You're going to feel differently. <clears throat> you're going to know that. I, I just feel like this transformation at the end of December is a step into your next version of you. All right. I believe that we have ver different versions, like peeling a light, like an onion, right? We have different layers and we keep just evolving as we grow. And I feel as though if you take this um, message seriously here that they want you to hear that you are going to now step into the next version of you. This is your time. This You're ready for this, but you have to make the choice. You have to be willing to let go of the toxic situation and not, I, I'm not really feeling like it's a let go of the toxic situation. You need to be willing to take the power back in the toxic situation. Okay. And sometimes that is letting go, but sometimes it's keeping boundaries and setting boundaries around. Say for instance, um, if you have, if you're co-parenting such as I am, um, like you need to make sure that you create your boundaries and not just go with everything the other person wants, who's manipulating you and is a toxic person, right? So it's, it's basically about keeping your boundaries, taking your power back in the toxic situation. Some of you, it will be letting go of it, but some of you can't. And it's about taking the power back in it. I hope that makes sense. Um, that's what this transformation is. I feel like you're going to gain a lot of strength. I feel like you're going to gain a lot of clarity. I feel as though you're going to see yourself completely different. And that's when you, that's the death card, right? You're letting go of the old you and you're stepping into the new you. And I feel as though when you do that, you're going to have a lot of people around you. I feel as though you're going to be calling in people that are now on your level versus what level you were on before. Okay. So higher vibrational people, people that really care about you, encourage you, and you're going to surround yourself with people that you trust and that, you know, love you and encourage you and support you instead of the people that bring you down. And I feel like they're saying like, you will not go backwards. You will not deal with those types of situations anymore because you will know that you're worthy of so much more. Wow. Okay. I'm going to take a breath. <laughs> that was like a mouthful. All right. Um, Okay, so we're going to go into energy healing with this, um, and I am being drawn to the death card, so I always go in with the intention, and it's really, I'm feeling like the intention of releasing, releasing what no longer serves you, and feeling confident in that. So that's what we're going to work on in this little short energy healing right now. Um, so if you haven't done this with me before... Um, I do pull more cards throughout, so stick around for the message after, and then I am going to connect, you're going to just close your eyes and listen to some music, and I'm going to connect the divine energy with your energy in order to release any blockages or trapped emotions. So go ahead and get comfortable, you could sit down, lay down, it's only going to be about three minutes, so don't get too comfortable, <laughs> and um, go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. And let it out. Okay, whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go.
Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Give your body a nice little stretch. And go ahead and let it out. You can open your eyes when you're ready. All right, so the cards that were pulled here is the King of Swords, which is all about boundaries. It's about being stern. It's about taking your power back. It's about knowing who you are and being really confident in that and not letting anyone or anything shake you on it, okay? And I know Leo's, like, we're meant for, you know, always being in the spotlight and always, like, having that, like, confidence, but in reality, and you can let me know if you agree with me in the comments below, like, we're really not on the inside, you know? Like, it's really a show, um, or, but, but there's an inner insecurities there that are masked by the, the, the confidence that everyone else sees, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Like, even emotions, like, there's emotions that are masked by the outside that everyone else sees. Okay, so that's the king of swords, like be stern, be confident in yourself, like bring that on the inner side rather than just what you portray on the outside. And with the eight of pentacles, it's going to be, you know, like just keep working at this. Keep making sure that you go back to your boundaries and that you stick to what you say and what you need and not let people take advantage of you and get the justice, right? Get the justice that you need. Step into that next version of you that knows that you deserve every single thing that you want. Okay, um, so I hope that resonates with you. Uh, it's really just a it's a beautiful reading of, you know, letting basically the message is letting go of whatever toxic situation that's keeping you stuck, because I feel as though you're really ready to step into that next version of you. But there's just this underlying um, doubt or somebody or something that's making you doubt it. All right. And once you release that. And just like, let that be. It's not your responsibility. They want that to be very clear. It's not your responsibility to fix that person, fix that situation. It's your responsibility to remove yourself from it. Okay. And to do what feels good and what is in alignment with you. All right. So I hope that resonates. I'm inviting you into the Divine Empress Club. If you would like to work with me more, um, I do tarot every single week. So you can get your own private tarot. Uh, it's in group setting, but you do get your own tarot message as well as the Monday night energy healing session. So if you like this energy healing, I do a whole hour of it um, on Monday nights. You can catch me live or you can watch the replay and all of my replays are in the video library that's in the Divine Empress Club. There's about 40 to 50 videos there. Um, all of the chakras, uh, we're, on, we're going on to 10 this month. So there's going to be 10 chakras in there this month. There's 10 archangels in there. Um, there's money blocks, money limited beliefs that are holding you back to heal from. And there's also um, a lot of self-development energy healing in there too. Okay, we have ring in the new year, high vibe empowerment party in there as well at the end of this month to ring in 2020. Okay, so much love. I hope to see you in there. It's $22 a month. So uh, keep it affordable so I can help a lot of people. And if you're interested, it's the link is in the description and also in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a like. Give me a little thumbs up on the video if it resonates with you. Let me know how it resonates with you. And I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful December. You deserve that step. And the only thing that's holding you back right now is that doubt. And that doubt is not your doubt. It's coming from another place. So you need to eliminate and disconnect from that place and really trust in yourself and trust in your intuition here, okay? So much love, have a wonderful, and trust yourself. Did I say that? Trust yourself because they want me to say that. All right, uh, have a wonderful December and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love, bye.